everybody, this is Jen from Scrapping Posh, and I am going to do a um, mini album tassel with uh, the BB Crafts ribbon. Um, is it their ends? I'm not sure what they're called. I'll look it up. Um, and we are going to use, I probably will use some charms, but I'm also going to use the Graphic 45 chipboard so um i haven't figured out how i'm going to fasten it to the album yet probably just use a um i can't think of what they're called right now my crocodile and a couple of i want to say grommets they're not called grommets <laughs> When my head gets on straight again, I will finish that thought. Now the first thing I do um, is pick out the ribbon that I want to use and lace and stuff. <clears throat> and then these were mostly scraps from um, a rack I got from Connie. So thank you so much, Connie. And then I'm going to take some of the chipboard pieces that have the holes in them from the collection and punch them out so let's use that one and I want different sizes and um, that one's very similar to that I like the size difference but the designs too similar so let's go with this one different sizes and shapes that one and that one and these may be a bit too big. That one's too similar to that. Uh, let's use this one. Or no, let's go ahead and use that one. Okay. I'll set these back aside with my collection. And the first thing you do after you punch them out is to make them a little more solid Where I punched them out, they have little knobs on them. We'll just get rid of that. And then we have to address the back. We can put pattern paper on it, but I am all for easy. So let's color it. Um, if it's a dark album, I'll use black. But this is not, so we'll just use brown. Okay, I have my anti-stick mat here, and I'm going to get my glossy accents out, and I think last time I had, this was clogged, I don't think it got any better. Okay. 
Okay, let's see here. You just want to put a um, consistent coat over the whole thing and try not to get any bubbles in it. And you can kind of tell where you need to add it if you look at it from an angle. Alright, that piece is covered. Mm. Okay, everybody, the piece is dried overnight, and you can tell. There's some bubbles in them, but I'm not too worried about that. And while they were dry, drying, I gathered some other stuff. And I remember these are called eyelets. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. So we're going to go ahead and put the eyelet in our book. And I put it in the middle on the spine and I want to use one of these grommet pens to hold on the um, tassel or charm or whatever you want to call what we're making so uh, we have to put it fairly close to the top here so I have my We Are Memories Keepers punch and I'm gonna take there's some stuff stuck in it I gotta get that out so I can see what I'm doing there we go and that's left over from the last time I did this okay now just find where you're gonna put it Just line it up. And punch. Okay. <clears throat> See, that's fairly close to the edge there. I have my eyelet. I got an extra one in case I smash it, because I do that. And just put a little pressure on it at first and then check it. And I hardly put any pressure on that at all and it looks like it's set. There we go. So we're good to go there. I'm going to go ahead and put my garment pen on. Okay, and now when we have the tassel ready, it'll be ready to stick on. This is being, there we go. All right, so put that to the side. And let's prepare our, the main part of our tassel. Move all these goodies out of the way for now because the main part of the tassel is fabric. So I have this one inch ring, ow, adjustable ring from 
Uh, I think this is from Hobby Lobby. But you can use a key ring. You can use anything round. And what we're going to do is thread the ribbon through it one piece at a time. And we may have to trim some off when we're done and that's fine. If you have a really long piece, go ahead and trim it off so that you can you know you don't have you don't end up with two short pieces. Um, and I'm going to turn this so this bigger part is under the fabric. That'll do two things. That will hide that big part that I don't really want to see. And it will allow me to clasp and unclasp this if I need to. I like using a variety of Um, ribbon and lace. Let me zoom you out a little bit there. This one's really long, so and it's really small, so I'm going to put this one in a few times in different spots. I put one on the right and one on the left there. different colors and different textures and different sizes I think that's all I'm going to get on there so I'll set these aside and then I'm going to take this ribbon, this little pink ribbon, I'm going to wrap it around and tie it in a knot and that's what's going to keep this together. I'm going to wrap it around a couple times so that it just gives it a better base. That's three times. And you want that real tight so that it um, gives it a little bit of definition as far as the that part of the tassel is thinner than the rest. Tie it in a good knot. And then trim off the excess. You can also make this knot, um, you can use a, a longer piece and it can be part of your tassel. Okay, now I'm just going to pull all the strands down and trim anything that looks like it needs trimmed. Check for frayed ends, etc. Alright. Now, Let's get our kit here and let's put some ribbon ends on. Now this kit is awesome because it has different sizes but 
um, if you can't find this one, there are different uh, different ones. So I'll link this one below, um, but I'll just link the clips in general below. So it doesn't matter what color I use. I have a variety of colors. Let's go with the gold. It's probably one of the colors I use the least. And these are super simple. You find the right size for your ribbon. I'm going to use a pair of needle nose pliers and then you can use a napkin, tissue, um, I'm going to use this piece of ribbon because it's laying right here just to protect the outside of this and it's forgiving because it has a texture on it instead of being smooth so that's nice but slide that on. I'm just going to cover it up with the ribbon, make sure that it doesn't move, and clamp it shut. Double check before you clamp all the way. It looks good. Okay, there's the end of our ribbon. It has the latch on it now so that we can add a charm. And I've got beads and I've got charms and I've got my um, cutouts. I've got two different sizes of jump rings, a bigger one for the cutouts because you can see here is a bit bigger than, you know, your average. Um, so let's go ahead and put... I'm going to check the, the height of this to see what kind of charms we're putting on. Uh, I think these are a little too long, the ones that are sticking out of the bottom. Okay. Don't have the ridges like the needle nose pliers do. But if I can do it with these tools, anybody can, right? Okay, so You really don't see a whole lot of damage, maybe just a little bit of ridge there. So it looks pretty good to me. I give it a pull to make sure it's not going to come off. Let's see if I can put one on this big ribbon. I've got these big ones here. And we're not going to put all of them, all my little beads in here. We're going to uh, or on the ends like this, we're going to put some in the tassel. So that's three of those. I have 13 potential um, ribbons to put on there. Or not ribbons, uh, beads and stuff. Let's put one on this big one. I'm just looking to see what I think fits it. I'm not like measuring or anything. It's just got your stand. It has the little doobies hanging off the end. 
This one's so easy, you can push it shut with your fingers. Yeah. I'll do one more of these and then we'll and now we'll put the beads on sorry guys I didn't realize I had zoomed in that close put things back in their cases Okay, and I lost count of how many I did, so I just have to find them. Um, these, I got some beads that I strung. I didn't string this one very well. Let me fix this. Just some beads that complement the paper. And put the jump ring on. And when you get all these hanging off of the bottom together, you'll see that <clears throat> it looks, uh, it'll give it a nice effect. And this is relatively fast. The, the, the hardest part about this is finding the stuff to use. <laughs> well, at least for me in my stash. If you don't have anything and you're going to go buy new, I don't know, I think you'd have the same problem with all this, the cool stuff they have. Just make sure that jump ring's closed. Just this one. Ah, I did the thing with my nail again. I shouldn't do that. Two. Let's do a tassel. These little tassels are also at BB Crafts. I'll link those below. I really like them. I think they're super cute and you get a huge package of them. All my dump rings are like together. And they're really soft so soft obviously I didn't open that wide enough and um, these which one was I put it on I guess I'll put it here these um little clasps are good for also the ends of, so your ribbon won't fray. Alright, here I get the larger jump rings. And then I'm going to use 
garment pins on two of these and attach them to the ribbon so that they're kind of in the middle. The bigger ones. I don't want these big ones hanging off of the bottom. There's lots of ways to attach beads. Find the rest of my here's one. I put put these on there. And these are all just beads I have laying around. A lot of them, whoops, a lot of them came from like uh, clearance sales, and I had a craft store in town that would uh, like if you you could fill fill your bag of clearance items for five dollars and stuff like that.
Whoops. This one is not going to close. So we're going to double, double up the jump ring. Just the uh, connector on this one's too big. have to make sure that these close because that ribbon um, clasp is flat metal not round so you just have a little tiny space there if you if your jump rings don't completely close it'll fall off okay let's see I'll make sure I got all the This last one. I'm gonna use another. <clears throat> um, let's go ahead and put this tag on there. I'm going to go ahead and close this because it's big and use a double jump ring. And then that leaves me with three things that I still want to put on there. And I think we'll just use a piece of chain. So I am going to use a chain, and this is the chain that I got from the kit, or not the kit, the uh, BB Craft, and there is so much here, it's, I'll, I'll like use this for a really long time. Okay, and it's nicely packaged so it doesn't get... wound up. Now I'm just going to take about the length that I want, trim it off, put it back in the package so it doesn't get tangled. <clears throat> and we can, let's use, this is just like a, uh, 
it's four name tags, <clears throat> I think. So I'm going to use that to hook on here. And then a jump ring to attach the chain. And it was that this ring is just too big to attach the jump ring to. There wouldn't be enough room to close it and the chain would fall off. That's why I have to use the clasp or the hook. Because even though you close it wide enough to put it on the, so that the ring won't fall off, your chain would fall off. You know what I mean? You gotta make sure the jump rings are closed. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so there's the chain that I'm gonna use, and I have these little bottles <coughs> <clears throat> that I've had for a really long time. I got a whole bunch of them, and then I have this tiny flower from We Are or wild orchids, I think. I'm going to try and shove this in that bottle. We'll see if it works. I'm going to use my pokey tool. Oh yeah, it worked. Move that around so it doesn't look so squished. There we go. I got a tiny bottle with a flower and I'm just going to take some glossy accents and glue on the cork. And it won't doesn't take much. So we've got two tassels and these, the uh, thread is, or the, the little tassels is only held together by this gold thread so I just put some glue around the gold thread to hold it in place. Um, I got these two tassels, the bottle, and the strung bead. And we're just going to use jump rings to put them on this chain. And I'll make the bottom one this, uh, this bottle. And I think, let's put, let's put that one See, this, um, well, I'll just use a double jump ring again, I guess. So. Let me have just enough jump rings. Zoom you in so you can see this, and I hope I'll stay in frame. I'm gonna put this here so I know where I need to be. Okay, your double jump ring. Put that on there. And you can go ahead and put the other one on if you want. You're gonna have to open it up, anyways. And then you close it. 
Make sure that's closed all the way. You take the second ring and you attach it to your chain. And you can use lobster clasps on these if you want. I'm just putting them right on the chain. Put one of the tassels on. Do the beads next. And last piece. I'm gonna put this all the way up the top. Okay, there we go. Now I can see the tassel in its entirety. Lots of different textures. Some focal points in there with the different beads. I'll trim this off so it's actually a whole flower. There we go. 
And then this flower has the... Yeah. Alright, and then we get our book. Remember how we put the um, garment pin on there? Just take, unfasten it, you stick that right on there, and you fasten the pin back. Whoop! And go around, there we go. And there you are. Alright you guys, I thank you very much. You guys have a great day and head on over to bbcraft.com and get yourself some um, cool clamps and these little tassels are so cute. The links are in the description below. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.